Hi, and welcome to Muscle Magazine. When I hit the national bodybuilding scene back in 1982, my career skyrocketed. In fact, I quickly became one of the most popular bodybuilders in the sport at the time. Even though I don't compete anymore, I still share your passion for training, fitness, and health. I'm back in Southern California now, but this time I'm promoting natural training and enhancement. You know what? It feels great. I really feel privileged to be hosting this month's show because this August marks the three-year anniversary of Muscle Magazine on ESPN. We have a great show for you today. I hope you join us for some muscle pumping action. Like most guys, when I started working out, I wanted big arms. So for this month's value of workout, I thought I'd take you through some of my favorite exercises. So let's get blasting. Matt starts his arm blasting routine with preacher curls using an easy curl bar. Now this is a great mass building exercise for the buys because it works the entire muscle. Some people have a tendency to cheat and swing the weight on this movement, but the key to good muscle development is strict form. Matt uses a narrow grip on the bar and keeps those elbows firmly planted on the bench. From a full extension, curl the bar smoothly all the way to your chin. Even though Matt is using a curl bar, try and supinate those wrists and squeeze that bicep to get that extra burn. After four sets of ten reps, those buys are pumped and ready for more. Matt's next movement for the bicep is the dumbbell concentration curl. There are many versions of this particular movement, but Matt prefers to let his arm hang freely for maximum extension and resistance. This exercise really nails the peak of the bias, if it is done correctly. It's extremely easy to swing the weight on this movement. The key is to mentally and physically focus on the bicep, burning that peak. By keeping the motion smooth, you're forcing yourself into negative, and that really pumps those peaks into the stratosphere. Moving on to triceps, Matt hits another great mass builder, lying tricep extension. Use a narrow grip on a curl bar, and lying flat on your back on a bench, lower the weight all the way down to your forehead. On the upswing of the motion, keep it smooth and lock out those tries and squeeze the muscle at the top of the movement. Try and keep the elbows tucked in as tight to your body as possible to keep the emphasis on just the try. Remember that the tricep consists of three different heads and is the largest muscle group in your arm. So don't be afraid to attack it. One of the best finishing exercises for the triceps just happens to be one of Matt's favorites, cable extension. Matt prefers to use a pull-down bar so he can keep his grip just under shoulder width. With any cable exercise, it's easy to get sloppy and swing the weight up and let it drop down without full control. However, once again, form is crucial. Keep the movement smooth, especially when lowering the weight, and feel that negative resistance. This exercise really nails the outer head of the tries to round out and complete that horseshoe. Remember to completely lock out and squeeze those tries at the bottom of the movement and watch your arms explode. So, there's a few of my favorite arm exercises. If you're an aspiring bodybuilder or know somebody who's got the potential to be a champion, we want to know. So, how do your arms feel now? When we started producing Muscle Magazine, we wanted to bring to you the good and the bad in the sport of bodybuilding. The funny and the sad, the achievements and the disappointments that all bodybuilders go through in striving to create the body they've always wanted. Here at Muscle Magazine, we realize that we have a unique responsibility in presenting the sport of bodybuilding in an accurate perspective, and to inform Americans everywhere that lifting weights is a healthy recreation that pays a lifetime of dividends. I'm Matt Mendenhall from Muscle Magazine.